Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my Minecraft Feed the Beast Monster tutorial series. This episode is going to be on finding and installing the Feed the Beast launcher, then choosing which mods to use and also how to allocate your RAM so the game can make use of it. First of all, Feed the Beast Monster is free to play, but you must first have purchased a copy of Minecraft. You will need your Mine Minecraft details in order to set up the Feed the Beast launcher. This series is for all who would like to watch a Minecraft series that is going to be huge and you will see that we will be using about 182 mods. In order for you to do the same I would would recommend at least 10 gigabytes of RAM in your computer and yes the Feed the Beast monster will use it all as I will show you. I believe you can still play with uh, 5 gigs of RAM but things may get laggy and your computer might go into meltdown once we start building hundreds of contraptions. Also you will need to be using a 64-bit version of Java, otherwise it will not be able to address or use all of your RAM. And RAM means random access memory. One of the easiest things for you to upgrade in your computer and also it's very cheap. There is in fact some, uh, some memory websites which will scan your computer, tell you what type of RAM you've got and tell you the maximum amount of RAM that you can upgrade to. And then as all as you have to do is click on the link to purchase it, they'll send it to you and then it's just a case usually of just slotting in the extra RAM chips into their slots. Anyway, so this series is also for those out there in the world that have a copy of Minecraft but don't realise the potential of the game, as in expanding it with mods. My gaming heart will always be centred on those that are not as technical as others and I will show you how to play some very awesome games. This first episode is going to be just slides because of the of security reasons of the content but all other episodes will be normal playing of the game this series will be of a tutorial nature and I will be showing you how I progress when I play Minecraft Feed the Beast Monster. So watch to learn or watch just to enjoy. The choice is yours my dear viewer but make no odds. This is going to be an epic series in size unless of course it ends up only being me watching it. Well, But we'll see. I, the legendary gamester, will now step you through setting up one of the best play experiences you are ever likely to encounter. Because of the sheer number of options that will be available to you, um, with regard regard to the amount of mods we'll be use we will be using, if you dream of being a mad professor creating all sorts of weird and wonderful experiments, then let us begin. Please remember, everything you see and everything you hear is only in my opinion. There is no right way or wrong way, there is just the fun way. Finally, I want to say a huge thank you to all the mod makers around the world that bring so much joy and fun into so many people's lives, and also the Feed the Beast team for joining them all together in different mod packs for us all to enjoy. And lastly, of course, to Mojang for making Minecraft. Thank you to every last one of you for your efforts. Okay, so let us begin. Right, the step one will be, of course, loading up your browser. In this case, I've just uh, we're going to be using the Google search engine. And in the Google box, you'll see you just need to type FTB, which stands for, of course, Feed the Beast. The first link that you should see should be this one here that says Feed the Beast, www.feed hyphen the hyphen beast.com that is the correct website to get the feed the beast so left click on this feed the beast link 
OK, you should now see this page. Remember, you must own a copy of Minecraft in order to play this. Left click on the red button that says Download Stable FTB Feed the Beast Launcher. So this button here, left click on that. OK, when you do that, this window will pop up when you do. Make sure your pop-up blocker does not block it. Save the file in a location that you can remember and easily accessible. When it is finished downloading, run the feedthebeastlauncher.exe. Go with all the defaults when you're finished and you should see then a shortcut eventually on your desktop. Run the Feed the Beast shortcut on your desktop. At some point it will want you to set up your Minecraft details and an email address. Forgive me for not knowing exactly when that is, but it has been years, my friends, since I have done this. So anyway, download the launcher, run it and install it. You should now eventually see this window. On the left, you will see a list of all the mod packs that the Feed the Beast team have put together for your gaming pleasure. We are looking for the monster pack. Why? Because it is blinking huge. So over here, you can see all of the different uh, mod packs that are listed. If we scroll down, so let's move this along. Okay, scroll down the list, you will eventually see this option, this pack here called Monster. Select it by left clicking on it. Now that is, it is selected, let's allocate memory so the game can use it. Left click on this button at the top left that says um, options so this button here where it says options left click on that button okay you should now see this window here is where the maximum it says maximum ram this is what's important to us. Use the slider and set it to either 10 gig or wherever you wish along this line. Give it basically as much as you can. Now, because I've got 15 gig of RAM in my computer, I've set it to 10 gig. That's what I would recommend you doing, setting it to 10 gig. That's the memory done. Click on Click back on the Feed the Beast Mod Packs button. So here, once you've put your slider to 10 gig or as much as you can allocate, then left click on that button, Feed the Beast Mod Packs. Okay. You will need now be back at this screen. Now click on the Edit Mod Pack button that you see here. So left click on this little button, Edit Mod Pack. OK, now you are free to choose what mods to add and remove to the Monster Pack. But for one reason or another, this is my choice that this series will be using. Now, there is one difference that I've changed that I've since made since uh, planning out this episode. And that is where it says Craft her Heraldry. Oh, wow, stumbling over my words now. OK, I've enabled that and I've removed from this side. And this is very, very important. When you scroll down this side of the mod packs, remove the one, disable it, select it by left clicking on it, left click disable on gas craft. The reason being, if you add gas craft to the uh, game, then there is a chance when you're mining that you will hit a gas pocket and it will fill up your whole mine with gas. The only way to stop dying repeatedly is to make a gas mask. Now the only trouble is if a spider or another creature hits you, one hit, gas mask gets destroyed, then guess what, you're back to dying a load of times again. So 
I did not find gas graft enjoyable, I strongly recommend you remove it. So this list should say gas graft instead of craft heraldry and I enabled craft heraldry. So there we are, that is what I wanted to mention there. Roughly, well there's not roughly, there will be 182 mods that you should then have in this list on the left. If you want to copy this series exactly then this is the list of mods I've disabled. Like I say though, instead of craft heraldry, it will say gas craft. To remove a mod from the list on the left, select the mod, then left click disable. It moves it then from the left to the right, thereby disabling it. That then puts it under the list of disabled mods. That will remove the mod from the pack and hence move it from the game. To add a mod from the list on the right, select the mod by left clicking on it and then left click the enable button. That will re-add it to the list on the left, thereby re-enabling it in the pack and thereby adding it back into the game. One important thing to remember about this is, if you have a saved game with a mod you have disabled in it, you will get errors, so best just to start a new game. You have been warned. Okay, now click uh, this little cross in the top right corner to close the mod pack window. So left click there. Okay, you should now be back at this window with the monster mod selector. Now left click on the launch button that you see here. To the left of that you will see your email address that you filled out. I've obviously removed mine which is why I had to use slides because it's got information popping up all over the place that I don't wish to share. So left click the launch button and that will launch the uh, Feed the Beast monster. From there I will leave it and continue in episode 2. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We will start to play some Minecraft Feed the Beast Monster in episode 2. Goodbye.